The southern house spider, Cucalcania hibernalis, is a member of the crevice weaver family Philistaster and is commonly found in the southeastern United States, Mexico, Central America, and parts of South America. Although their large size, long legs, and other appearance often cause alarm, southern house spiders are generally misunderstood creatures. Their temperament is far more passive than most people expect, and in fact, they are often considered beneficial for pest control in homes and gardens. To better understand their role in the environment and their interactions with humans, it is helpful to examine their temperament and behavioral tendencies in detail. The southern house spider is known for being shy and reclusive. Despite their intimidating appearance, they are not aggressive toward humans. Most individuals will avoid confrontation and prefer to remain hidden in their webs, which are usually constructed in cracks, crevices, and sheltered spots around buildings. They have a strong instinct for self-preservation, and if disturbed, they typically retreat deeper into their web tunnels rather than attempting to bite or attack. Males and females differ in size and temperament slightly. Females, who tend to be larger and remain near their webs, are more sedentary and cautious. Males are more active, often roaming in search of mates, but they too are not aggressive and prefer flight over fight when threatened. Like many spiders, the southern house spider is defensive rather than offensive. Their primary reaction to danger is avoidance. If disturbed in their web, they usually retreat into the tunnel like silk retreats they construct. This provides a safe barrier between themselves and the threat. If cornered and handled roughly, they may attempt to bite, but such occurrences are rare. Interestingly, although they are sometimes mistaken for more dangerous spiders, such as the brown recluse, the bite is not medically significant for humans. At worst, a bite may cause mild irritation similar to a bee sting. Their lack of aggression and low likelihood of biting further reinforce their calm temperament. Southern house spiders are nocturnal hunters. Unlike orb-weaving spiders, they do not build large aerial webs to trap prey. Instead, they rely on their retreat webs, which consist of messy, irregular silk lines extending from their crevice shelters. These silk threads serve as trip lines that alert the spider to nearby movement. When an insect brushes against the web, the spider quickly emerges to seize it. This method of hunting highlights their temperament as patient and opportunistic predators. They do not chase down prey actively, but instead wait calmly for opportunities to present themselves. This approach demonstrates a calculated and energy-efficient strategy, fitting their generally reserved demeanor. The temperament of southern house spiders in relation to humans is one of wariness and avoidance. They are not social creatures and prefer minimal contact with people. When they inhabit homes, they typically stay in secluded corners, window frames, or cracks in brickwork. While their presence may alarm homeowners due to their size and dark coloration, these spiders are actually beneficial, helping to reduce populations of moths, flies, cockroaches, and other household pests. Their tendency to remain hidden and their reluctance to bite show that they are not a danger to people. In fact, many people who live in areas where southern house spiders are common may have them around without ever realizing it, since these spiders are so discreet. Male and female southern house spiders exhibit some differences in temperament. Females, larger, more sedentary, and generally stay close to their webs. They are patient hunters and display a calmer, more reclusive temperament. They are unlikely to leave their retreat unless disturbed. Males, more active particularly during mating season when they roam in search of females. They may be encountered indoors while wandering, but their temperament is still not aggressive. Although they appear bolder due to their mobility, males still avoid confrontation and pose no real threat to humans. This difference in activity sometimes causes males to be misidentified as more aggressive spiders, but their temperament remains cautious. The southern house spider's temperament also reflects its ecological role. As calm, patient predators, they help control insect populations around human structures. Their unobtrusive nature makes them effective yet unnoticed contributors to the balance of local ecosystems. Their lack of aggression allows them to coexist peacefully in human habitats, where they provide pest control without creating real risks to people. Because southern house spiders are large and often mistaken for brown recluses due to their shape and coloration, they are frequently misunderstood as dangerous and aggressive. In reality, their temperament is quite the opposite. They're shy, defensive, and beneficial creatures. Misidentification and fear often lead to unnecessary killing of these spiders, despite their harmlessness and usefulness. The temperament of the southern house spider, Cucalcania hibernalis, is best described as shy, reclusive, and non-aggressive. Both males and females prefer to avoid conflict, retreating into their webs when disturbed. 
Little females remain hidden near their retreats. Males may wander in search of mates, but even they are cautious in nature. Their defensive instincts, combined with their beneficial role as pest controllers, make them an asset to the environments they inhabit. Although their appearance can be intimidating, understanding the true temperament of southern house spiders helps foster a better appreciation of these misunderstood arachnids. Far from being a threat, they are quiet cohabitants that prefer solitude and contribute to keeping insect populations under control. Recognizing their passive and beneficial nature allows us to replace fear with respect for this fascinating species.